Hi, my name is Yurisha Blig. I am a high school English teacher and I hail from the beautiful island of St. Eustatius, but we just call it Stacia. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, homeschooling and quarantine questions. So let's get right into it. Um, this one says, hi, I'm a single mom of uh, three kids in ages 9, 11, and 13, and they can be a handful. I'm finding it difficult to discipline and not to lose my temper. First of all, mom, you are in control. You don't get angry. You don't get frustrated, and when you do, you remember, I am in control of this situation. I am the boss. And you just have your boss lady boots on all the time, mom. And understanding that you're in control of the situation will calm you because losing your temper usually comes from a feeling of powerlessness. So you just walk away, take a moment, and you say, I am in control of this situation. Now, the reason you're losing your temper is most likely because of the workload. I know it's a lot. The teachers, we have come out with a vengeance, and we have a lot of things ground to cover at this time in the year. So things can be a lot. Um, my first uh, advice to you as a family in general would be definitely have a schedule. It's not vacation. That means that kids wake up at a regular time. Um, maybe a little bit later, but I wouldn't, I would say no more than an hour later. Um, have them wake up, have them do, have breakfast, you know, the entire routine that you do in the mornings. And then if they have online classes, have them get dressed <laughs> for their online class. All of this keeps the structure of school in their mind because it's going to be difficult when they get back, whenever that is. Lord, please let it be soon. Whenever they get back to school, we don't want it to be a difficult transition for them. And um, you've been in the routine of getting them ready, so you know what that's like. Um Make a checklist, make a schedule. We do this at, as it pertains to homeschooling now. We have math at 8. We do language at 9. Um, hopefully, the editing skills will pop up and one of my, <laughs> my, um, my schedules is right now on your screen as you're looking at it. So we have these, these plans. We even plan out breaks, you know. Because when we do this, our kids know what to expect from the day. They're more focused, more engaged, and they feel as if they've had something, you know, to do with this. That this is, you know, their responsibility, especially if you've made this schedule with them. And that they've had, they, that it was all a collaborative effort. I would say for your nine-year-old, please make sure that they feel as if this is their responsibility 13 year old should know that school is their responsibility, not yours. And if they don't, we have more to talk about in another video as to how to get that going. Um, for your 11 year old, this is a little bit of an iffy area because they're about to go to high school. And the uncertainty, the, the COVID virus is probably weighing heaviest on on and the the children in that age group i would say lots of reassurance lots of positive thoughts and again this is you know for everyone but especially you know for that age group have them feel as if homeschooling is something that is positive it's not because even though it is it would be something that you would want to do we're not in jail this is not the end of the world and we're all going to be okay, even if this is our new normal. I would say, get used to the new normal, moms and dads, especially for single parents. I know this can be rough because you're probably still working from home. Your boss expects a lot of things from you, even though you have three kids running around. And it all seems impossible. A tip is also to get help. I know a lot of people think... Um, we're all stuck inside, but we have Zoom. Um, I don't know if Skype still exists, but we have Google. Every, you know, we have so many different means of getting in, in contact with others. Have a, 
have a parent you know from the class explain math <laughs> today if you don't you don't get it it's okay to ask for help and most of all it's okay to breathe this is gonna be over hopefully soon and when it is you're gonna be a stronger more independent and hopefully a very positive person so keep calm stay at home don't lose your temper because you're in control have a good one